from the LVI. And I don't know if you all know the LVI, but it's a very big uh, bike organization in Luxembourg with more than a thousand members. I hope that not everybody knows us because otherwise uh, I'll speaking, be speaking in vain here. Um, the LVI is a Luxembourg bicycle organization that has been founded in 1985. Uh, so last year we th celebrated our 30th anniversary. Uh, we have currently above 1,500 mem 1, members, so I think that's about 3% of the whole population of Luxembourg, which isn't too bad and it's steadily growing. One can really see that there are more and more people also being interested in the subject. Uh, we have currently a committee of 10 people, um, but we also have about 10 to 15 volunteers which are helping us out with doing information stands, with coming to discuss our, our uh, positioning towards different topics um, and just what subjects we want to tackle in the, in the following year. Um, we have two employees of which I'm one uh, and we have only started having the first employee six years ago, so for quite a long time the organization was working just on a voluntary basis, but now we are slowly professionalizing. Um, we have three main aims um, in our organization that we are working on. I don't know if the presentation is working or not, otherwise... Okay. Really taking some time to respond. Oh, I'm not aiming it well enough. I'm not sure. Um, so this is. We are also. What I forgot to say is that we are a member of the ECF, which is an umbrella group for cyclist organizations in Europe. Uh, Cycle Luxembourg, which is organizing this conference, is the second uh, Luxembourgish member uh, in that group. Um, our three main goals or aims with on which we are working are usually, first of all, we are working as a lobbying group. So we are working with national and local politicians mostly uh, in order to just further cycling infrastructure and make cycling safer for the people that want to cycle. Um, we are, on the other hand, also working in terms of awareness raising with the population, trying to convince them of the benefits of the bike, convince them of the joy that biking can be. Uh, and finally, um, a third aspect that we are working on um, is cycle tourism, um, where we are trying to promote just um, tourism in Luxembourg, because there's obviously still, we have a great network for that, which goes a lot through forests and nice ways, but there's still a lot to be done because we are not marketed very well. And I seem to not be very efficient with my presentation, but I think I can do it out. Um, in terms of um, lobbying work that we are doing, um, we are usually meeting with um, local uh, with, with um, ministries, such as, for example, the um, Ministry for Sustainable Development and Infrastructure, uh, or also the Tourism Ministry, and we are discussing what uh, topics we feel are necessary to be tackled. Um, we also work as councillors for municipalities. For example, two years ago we were doing a project in the north of the country in Proviash to develop a touristic uh, cycle concept for the commune. Um, we, are, we have been working in a pilot project in the Alzette Valley, which is just north of the city of Luxembourg, um, where we are trying to prove that by improving the infrastructure there will actually be more cyclists coming because one of the arguments that was often used in the past was why should we build infrastructure when there are anyways no cyclists? And this project has now been aiming to prove that if we develop and put the infrastructure there then for sure there will be uh, more cyclists and we are expecting the results of, of this work uh, in the coming years. Um, another point um, is that we are of course um, organizing events if necessary to push things forward. Two years ago we had the big protest on the Pont Adolphe um, because there was initially not really a plan for 
cyclists to pass on that bridge in any secure way because either you take the traffic lane, either you uh, climb off your bike and you push it on the sidewalk. And that's such an important connection for, Lux for Luxembourg City to connect the central station district with the city center. Um, and it's one of the consequences of this work that we did back then that now this floating bridge below the bridge um, has been included in the plans for, for the Pont Adolf after its renovation. Um, in terms of awareness raising, we are mostly trying to attend fairs where we are present with our people. We are using sometimes conferences uh, or events. Um, we are trying also to get people to cycle more by, for example, organizing a cycling school. Because unfortunately nowadays it's a problem that many kids don't know anymore to cycle and many adults have never learned it. So we are teaching, we have classes for people that want to learn to cycle so that they can get rid of that barrier and we maybe grow the amount of people that uh, will use the bike in Luxembourg. Um, okay, it's... Uh, finally, um, we are also producing different materials that we are disseminating. Um, some of them are lying on the tables uh, in the back of the room. Uh, we have a little A3 map where you can see how the, the bicycle path runs through the city. It's just a schematic map, but we have also developed a more detailed cycling map that you uh, can get in our organization. Um, we are every year, uh, every uh, quarter, publishing a little review magazine where we talk about some of the subjects that uh, we are currently working on or that are, that are important uh, for, for cycling in Luxembourg. Um, and finally, in a touristic sense, we are also trying, apart from promoting cycling and by going to fairs uh, abroad, such as the, the Rathweise Messepon, for example, uh, we are also managing the Baden bike label in Luxembourg and um, with those maps also offering some, some basis for touristic trips. Uh, that's pretty much all uh, that I wanted to say.